This is Texas School Book Depository right there. Yeah. So we'll go straight. But he made this turn down that hill is where the shots were fired. The assassination took place. John Taylor and I are in Dallas, Texas at Dealey Plaza, where President John F. Kennedy was assassinated on November 22nd, 1963. And today, we are going to retrace Lee Harvey Oswald's footsteps, from his escape from the Texas School Depository to his boarding house to where he ultimately got arrested. All right, so John and I have been exploring Dallas all morning We've kind of been retracing Lee Harvey Oswald's steps. And it all started right up here at the Book Depository. And what's really strange, John, and you were kind of explaining, now that we're here, you know, Oswald took the shot from over there. But this street, the motorcade was coming down this street, and it could have been a clear shot. Right. right. You can come down this Market Street here. I mean, that's a much clearer shot. Right. And it's also, you're, he's coming at you as you're shooting at him. Versus he makes his corner, he's going down the hill away from you as you're shooting. It's a more logical shot. Maybe he wasn't in position yet. I don't know. But it certainly looks like that's where he would have been shooting it, if that were the primary uh, assassin location. Yeah, so it almost like he hesitated. Or right, something. he's coming. I mean, he's, he's facing this street from that uh, perch. It's a clear shot. And when he makes the turn, he would have been right below him. It's totally exposed. But he waits still, he's heading away from him and down a hill before he starts firing the shots. It's just a very odd choice. It doesn't I mean, make a lot of sense. I mean, the only thing I can think of is either he wasn't in position when he needed to be, or uh, that, like you said, he hesitated. Like he, was, he got cold feet and then he finally realized he had to do it. So it's on the sixth floor, which is not the top floor. It's the second from the top. It's where that window is? And it's where that window is, right? Right there? Yep. The second one from the top looks like it's open. How you doing, man? If you go across the street and look in there, uh, you're going to see a beige box. That's so the question is, after the fatal shot, where was Oswald planning to go? Did he even expect to make it out of the book depository alive? He got off and went to his boarding house. Went in the boarding house, but he got his pistol there or not? Yeah. Who knows? John and I are about to retrace his steps. When Oswald escaped... He slipped out of the book depository and walked several blocks, caught a city bus, and then hailed a taxi that took him to his boarding house. Why did he go to the boarding house? No one quite knows for sure. But there, he picked up a pistol and began to walk. All right, what's up? All right, so once we leave the Texas School Book Depository... We'll go to Oswald's rooming house, which is the path he took, though he took a, bu- some, a bus, at least one bus, and a cab, which is peculiar. So yeah. we'll do that route. So we're going to Lee Harvey Oswald's house. Pulling in like we know him? Yeah. So this was a boarding house. <clears throat> this is where he went right after he exited the book depository. This is John. John knows a lot, an unhealthy amount of knowledge about this case. Oswald's uh, boarding house is just a single story ranch style house outside of downtown Dallas. We knocked on the door, but nobody answered. All right, so John, right after he left the book depository, he what? He, what, he took a bus, right? Took a bus and a cab to get here, uh, and then walked part of it. Uh, so they got here. They think picked up a gun, maybe his jacket, and then left immediately and started walking. And then he ended up at the next location we're going to go to, which is where Officer Tippett was killed. So he walked from here. And which direction was it? It's not clear where he was walking to or what his plans were after his escape. As he was walking aimlessly outside of downtown Dallas, Texas, he stumbled upon a policeman, J.D. Tippett. All right, John. So where are we? We're at 10th and Patton Street here in Dallas where uh, Officer J.D. Tippett was killed, allegedly by Lee Harvey Oswald shortly after the assassination. And it's just, it's not at all what I was expecting. I was expecting so this was like a neighborhood back then? Yeah, this is much more of a neighborhood. 
but it's still just a very peculiar location. Like, and so he'd been to his house and he's just, he's out walking and that's, you know, it drives a lot of the conspiracy theories. Like what, why, why was he out walking? Like, was he going to meet somebody? That's what most people. And speculate. so this was, just, I don't know the story here. This is just like a happenstance. Like they just happened to run into each other. I think that the, uh, the, the official story is that, uh, JD Tippett got a, he was told the description of the person they thought it was unaccounted for at the Texas Book Depository, which they thought might be having something to do with the assassination. And so he stopped uh, Lee Harvey Oswald to question him yeah, because he matched the description. And Oswald shot him. So it took 45 minutes for Oswald to go from the assassination site to here. And in between, he went to his house? Yes. And huh. probably picked up the pistol that he used to shoot Oswald. After Oswald shot Officer J.D. Tippett, he continued walking towards the Texas theater, where he ultimately was arrested. What are we looking at? Texas theater, which is where Oswald was arrested shortly after shooting uh, J.D. Tippett. So he was seen in front of one of these storefronts, like milling around. The storefront was a, sh a shoe store at the time. And the uh, manager or owner called the police because he had just heard that there was a police officer uh, shot in the area. And he thought that Oswald, the guy that was out front, matched the description. We're geeking out to uh, JFK history here in Dallas, Texas. The co-host of Criminal Conduct kind of digging into the history archives here. <laughs> exactly. Needless to say, we did a lot of walking through Dallas to recreate Lee Harvey Oswald's steps, but we finally made it to the Texas theater. And John was right, it's still a working theater today where they show horror films. We tried to get in, but the theater was closed. So this is this is where uh, I was about to say John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> Close. Oswald. Oswald, the wrong presidential assassin. So he he came here right after he shot that officer and, yeah. and just was laying low. Yeah, I went in, bought a ticket to the movie. I forgot what movie was playing. Probably not this movie. Not this movie. Yeah. When John Taylor told me that this is what he wanted to do while we were in Dallas, I thought he was crazy. But you know what? It turned out to be a lot of fun. It was very interesting to be there and see firsthand how Lee Harvey Oswald was able to escape one of the biggest crime scenes in U.S. history. But we can't end this bonus episode without talking about the grassy knoll. So let's go back to Dealey Plaza. And they point this out in the movie JFK, which is a pretty bad movie. So so we're on the grassy knoll. This is the grassy knoll. It's not very grassy. This would be, well, right here. The, the, right there is the grassy knoll, actually, on the other side of that. So the grassy knoll is just a small hill or incline that runs along Dealey Plaza. It's right where John F. Kennedy's motorcade was passing through. It's just a small patch of grass. And honestly, being there after years of hearing about the grassy knoll, I find it impossible for a hitman or a sniper to shoot the president and get away with it. There would have been way too many people around. What do we got? Oh, we got the two X's on the street. The first X up there is where the first shot hit Kennedy. Second X is where the fatal shot got Kennedy, approximately. And this is also the grassy knoll. Yeah, this is the, the grassy knoll. So this is what they were pointing to, because this is the, the space between where the uh, alleged shooters would have been and the road. So there was a reporter in the motorcade who referred to this as a grassy knoll. That's where it got its name. And there's much more of a de decline going down this hill than you would expect. I mean, yeah. reading, I read about the trajectories and all that, and I knew that there was a pretty significant decline. 
If you're ever in Dallas, Texas, stop by the Dealey Plaza. They have a museum at the sixth floor where Lee Harvey Oswald shot John F. Kennedy. It is fascinating, really well put together museum. And it was a very important time in history. You got to see it for yourself. Stay tuned for a brand new season of Criminal Conduct. We're working on it now. And as soon as we know anything, we'll post a new episode here.